In this lecture, we will find LCM and HCF of fractions. I have two problems and we will start with problem number one. Find LCM and HCF of 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and 3 by 7. LCM of fraction is equal to LCM of numerator and HCF of denominator. Very simple. So to find LCM of 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and 3 by 7, we have to find out LCM of numerators and the numerators are 1, 2, 3. So LCM of 1, 2, 3 and then we have to find out HCF of denominators. Denominators are 2, 3, 7. So HCF of 2, 3, 7. And once we have value of LCM and HCF, we can easily find out LCM for fraction. So let's start with it. First we will find out LCM for 1, 2, 3. We will follow the same method that we saw in the last presentation. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so LCM for 1, 2, 3 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and this is equal to 6. Very simple. So 6 is the LCM and now we have to find out HCF. I will use the prime factorization method. So we have to factorize 2, 3, 7 and uh, they are prime numbers. It means they are divisible by 1 and itself only. So 2 can be written as 2 multiplied by 1, 3 can be written as 3 multiplied by 1 and 7 can be written as 7 multiplied by 1. Now if you remember the prime factorization method in case of HCF, we have to consider all the common factors with the greatest index and in this case if we search for common factor we will get 1. 1 is the only common factor. So HCF of 2, 3, 7 is equal to 1. Very simple. Now we have LCM for numerators and we have HCF for denominators. We can easily find out LCM for fraction and LCM for fraction LCM for fraction and in this case fractions are 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and 3 by 7 is equal to 6 by 1 or 6. So 6 is the answer and now we have to find out HCF of fraction. For HCF we have to make a small change. This was the formula for LCM. And in case of HCF we have to switch LCM with HCF and HCF with LCM. It means for HCF of fraction, we have to find out HCF of numerator and LCM of denominator. Very simple. Let me write this down. For HCF of fraction, we have HCF of numerator and LCM of denominator. This is the formula that we will use to find out HCF for fraction. Okay. So HCF of 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and 3 by 7 is equal to HCF of 1, 2, 3 and LCM of 2, 3, 7. So let's first find out HCF for 1, 2, 3. I will use prime factorization method. 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by 1. 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 1. And 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 1. The common factor with greatest index is 1. So again, HCF of 1, 2, 3 is equal to 1. Now we will find out LCM of 2, 3, 7. LCM of 2, 3, 7. I will use division method. 2, 3, 7. Okay, so LCM 
of 2, 3, 7 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, 6, 6 multiplied by 7 is 42, 42. So simply HCF of this fraction is equal to 1 by 42 and this is our answer. This was answer for LCM and this is answer for HCF. So this is how you have to find out LCM and HCF of fraction. Now we will move to problem number 2. In this we have to find out LCM and HCF of 5 by 2, 8 by 9 and 11 by 14. First I will find out LCM 5 by 2, 8 by 9, 11 by 14 and LCM of fraction is equal to LCM of numerators 5, 8, 11 divided by HCF of denominators 2, 9, 14. So LCM of 5, 8, 11 we will find first. I will use division method. So LCM of 5, 8, 11 is equal to 5 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 11. This is equal to 4, 4, 0. Now we have to find out HCF of 2, 9, 14. And this is homework for you. You have to find out HCF for 2, 9, 14. And finally LCM for this fraction. Once you have your answer, post it in the comment section. This is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.